latest reading on CEO confidence shows business leaders are nowhere near as confident as they were a year ago. That survey is conducted by the conference board in collaboration with the Business Council, and it shows that CE confidence about a host of topics, everything from inflation to their own businesses, declined for the fourth, quarter, fourth straight quarter and is now negative. It's below a reading of 50, and that's the first time that's happened since the pandemic began. For details on the survey and much more, let's bring in Roger Ferguson, distinguished fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations, former CEO of TIAA and former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, of course, also a CNBC contributor. Um, Roger, the idea that CEOs are feeling worse now and the first time we've gotten a reading below 50 since the pandemic began, began is kind of hard to believe. This is worse times we're facing now than anything through the pandemic? I think what's going on, Becky, is um, just the building up of all these pressures. Um, you know, inflation, obviously, and you've just talked about that with respect to an announcement that just came out. Uh, you just talked about the fact that some major companies are rethinking when they return to the office because of because of uh, uh, the pandemic. Um, and so I think what's happening is there's just a building up of pressure, and the CEOs are basically saying, you know, every time we look at it, things seem to be more challenging, more difficult. You know, more and more difficult to manage through, and I think that's what's that's what's happening here. Uh, yeah, by I, the way, that reading below 50, please go ahead. No, go ahead. Explain. Well, that reading below 50 um, is consistent with slowing, um, for sure, in a number of different metrics, uh, and so I think we have to watch this pretty closely. Now, when we look back historically, we've seen readings below the 40 um, are when we start to get into. A much more challenging recessionary kind of territory. So right now we're in, the CEOs are saying, difficult times, we're really expecting slowing, and this is, I think, just the building up of a number of uh, challenges that we've been talking about for several quarters here. Roger, we just heard from Target, uh, heard from Walmart yesterday, and some, some similar concerns mm -hmm. there. Um, their margins got really eaten into right. by higher cost. Uh, they're facing a lot of issues, whether it be logistics, higher freight costs, higher energy costs. Um, and, and just higher input costs in general. They, they have not been passing all of those costs on along to the consumer yet. What does that tell you about what we should be anticipating from the economy? I think what it tells us is several things. Um, one is indeed that inflationary pressures are still there. Two, in our survey, 54 percent of CEOs said they expect to pass cost on, but 54 percent is far below, you know, 100 percent, obviously. Um, though we're not talking about it at this moment, there are surveys of consumers that are showing that they are changing their buying behaviors, that they no longer think this is a good time to buy those big ticket items. Uh, we've seen inflation pressures uh, changing consumer demand towards uh, store brands as opposed to uh, nationally known brands. And so all of this, Becky, I think is telling us that the combination of inflation that is much too high, to quote uh, Jay Powell, you know, wages that are increasing but not keeping up with inflation, uh, and then, you know, the inability to pass all this along is creating a very, very challenging dynamic. Margin pressures existing, as you just talked about, uh, and, frankly, supply chain issues. And, by the way, as Jay Powell said the other day, uh, the combination of the war in Ukraine, which looks like it's continuing for a period of time, and COVID shutdowns in China and potentially other places, all of that suggests that this set of circumstances is not likely to get better anytime soon, and consequently pressures uh, on the middle line and the bottom line for businesses, pressures on the household sector, pressures at CEO level, and obviously, frankly, pressures on the Federal Reserve.